Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super, super excited because a lot of my friends have been asking me to try Afghan food, uh, food from Afghanistan. And today we are here at Khyber uh, Halal. And um, yeah, it is a Khyber Halal restaurant and catering. It is located on 24th Street and Indian School Road. Um, yeah, this place looks amazing. We already placed our order in. Uh, so we did get the family platter that comes with uh, some chicken skewers, beef skewers, or kebabs, I should say, lamb kebabs served with rice. And um, I actually learned something new today. I am a big fan of Indian food. This is my first time trying Afghan food. And there are some similarities. You know, they have samosas. They have, you know, the chutney. They have biryani rice, they have garlic naan. So I thought that was super, super uh, interesting. As soon as we walked in, you were literally hit with the most beautiful fragrances. The, I mean, this restaurant smells amazing. It is a little spot. <clears throat> Nothing fancy, super casual, and um, I'll let you guys know if it's Big Guy Appetite approved. All right, we're waiting for our order. I'll be back to show you once the food is here. Look at the hummus, beautiful with paprika and um, olive oil. And then we have these gorgeous naan breads. She did say these are different than the um, Indian naan. This is thicker. Oh my God, they're piping hot. All right, you guys, let's start with these appetizers. I'm super excited, you guys. Oh, I have been wanting to try Afghan food for so long. And uh, I just never found a place that looked like authentic i guess and then i really started to do my research and found this place and oh my gosh so far i haven't tasted anything but i already feel like this place is gonna be spectacular um there's a chutney and some naan for each of you sorry samosa you're right and then i am just dying to dig into this hummus Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys, look at that. So I'm gonna dig right in here. If you ladies wanna dig in. You guys take the first bite. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, wow. You taste a hint of garlic in there. This is not your Sabra hummus from the grocery store. This is homemade and you can tell. Mm. The naan bread is fluffy and it has just the right bite. Crunch on the outside and fluffy on the inside. This is very reminiscent to like a Mexican gordita. Wow, out of this world. Mm. Sorry. No, good point. Absolutely stunning. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This, that naan will satisfy every carb craving ever. All right, so the chutney does look a little different. It is also a mint coriander, a, spi a spicy mint coriander chutney. But it does look different uh, than the Indian one. This one is creamy looking. It is really good. Oh my gosh. It's 
it's like packed with flavor. Yeah, I almost didn't come come here. Cause looking on Yelp, like I said, oh, oh that chutney is delicious. I um, uh, I kept seeing a lot of like uh, Indian names to the dishes, like naan and samosas and all. And I was like, no, I think this is an Indian restaurant, even though it said Afghan. So I called. And I'm like, are you guys Indian cuisine or Afghan cuisine? She said, no, we're Afghan. And so I said, okay, we need to go check this place out. Mm. This is stuffed with potatoes and herbs. Oh my gosh. Like, Oh, that chutney is spicy. Oh, that is divine. Mm. Absolutely divine. You can kind of see a little bit more of the mm -hmm. inside stuff right here. Mm. Mama, you're mighty quiet. When Mama goes quiet, no That's a really good thing. Let's see what she has to say. So what is your verdict? Yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So you guys, this is Mama Appetite Approved. And my beautiful niece. Samosa's gone already. That's just like a lot. Yep. I am super impressed. Shout out to my friends that actually have been asking me to do this forever. Wida and uh, Medium, the Salted CSPs. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you girls so much for putting me on this. Wow. Just look at how rich that is. Look at that olive oil. Wow. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. I love the texture of this nine, my goodness. Oh, this is so good. Mm -hmm. So pillowy. This is what I had to expect with the appetizers. I, I cannot even begin to imagine how amazing the entrees are going to be. We'll be right back when that arrives. Mama Appetite, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, she is cleaning that plate. That should tell you a lot about the look at look at that. I love how everything arrives too. Do you see that? It arrives on little carts. Oh my gosh. We literally, nothing survived. Mama had left uh, most of her samosa, so I handled that. Oh, look at We can see our feetsies down here. Hi. <laughs> I love how they bring everything out. Look at how cute. I love this. This is beautiful. There's some salad. Wow, tzatziki. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Take a look at this, you guys. Okay. So right here, we have a skewer of chicken boti, a skewer of chicken mali boti, one uh, skewer of beef shish kebab, and then one lamb kebab. Right here we have a cucumber salad, tzatziki, extra tzatziki sauce, extra chutney. And then right here we have a half and half. We have uh, kwabali rice that has like, I think that's carrots and raisins. It's like a long grain rice, almost like a noodle. And then this one is regular rice. And then, of course, the garlic naan. Oh, the juice was falling on your hand. I know. Oh my God, you guys. Everything, anything for the thumbnail. 
I literally dropped all the weed on the table. Can you believe that? Oh, such a nut. Okay. Yeah. All the juice. All right, ladies, dig in. Dig in. Oh, we got a little piece of. Oh, the, the evidence <laughs> that it fell. The evidence that it fell, right. Ooh. These rice are what? It's uh, just said regular rice, and the other one is Kobali rice, I think. I'm not, uh, if I mispronounce it, my bad. Alright, I want some of this cucumber salad. It looks like it has cilantro, tomato, cucumber. So many different kinds of birds in the rice. Really? Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know what is what, but I'm just serving myself a little bit of everything. I think this is the beef, that's the chicken. I don't know which one is the kobali chicken, which one's not. And I think this is the lamb. Is this the lamb or the beef? Or is this the lamb? We'll, we'll find out right now, Chris. And the taste. Yeah, the taste will tell you. I guess on some uh, garlic naan. I'll take one. Mm, I'm forgetting the rice. Okay. This is beef right here. Let me make some room here. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I'll move the rice right now to show my plate. <clears throat> Love rice. Okay, let's move this rice. Okay, so I got my plate right here, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. I am beyond ecstatic. Okay. I'm gonna try. Just a lamb. Yep, definitely lamb. And I'm gonna do some of the tzatziki sauce. <laughs> you all right there? Mariah's rolling her eyes in love. Oh, beautiful, yes, thank you. I'm not going Salad. Wow. So one thing I noticed about this chicken, it's like marinated and rubbed with like a green herb. So let's see. Let's give this a try. Let me know in the comments below, have you guys ever tried Afghan food? Wow. That chicken is phenomenal. Mm. In the tzatziki sauce, you taste the dill. Mm. Tatsuki is like a yogurt sauce. Delicious. I am shocked. I am so impressed. Mm. Wow. The rice is so tender and fluffy. Raisins and the carrot. I was a little iffy about that, I'm not gonna lie. That adds a light little hint of sweetness. Oh wow. That works. 
the rice <clears throat> has definitely a seasoning. It's seasoned. It's not like bland white rice. It's buttery. Uh, not buttery, but like they use some, maybe olive oil or some sort of fat in, in the rice. This place is popular. Phone is nonstop. People are in and out. Let me show you one feature I love. On every table they have Tabasco and habanero sauce. I feel right at home. Shall do, baby. So let's let's try the beef, and then we're gonna do a little tatsi. No, um, chutney. A little tatsi, and then a lot of jabonero. Oh yeah. Y'all wanna take that bite? Oh my gosh, that habanero. Hey, girl, it's Yeah? It is so good. Mm. Baby girl, no, this is good food. So good. The lamb, I can't get over the lamb. Oh my god. They brought me back to when my grandma used to sit with the lamb all the time. Childhood memories, a lot too. And the salad is just so refreshing. Mm. The green onions are good in the salad. Mm -hmm. You can not make a salad like this at home. No. <laughs> it's only tomato soup. Basic <laughs> ingredients. No matter how hard we try to replicate a good salad from a restaurant, it never comes out. Mm. Shout out to my beautiful Afghanistan brothers and sisters. Look at that fluff. <laughs> Mariah said, I'm so happy. <clears throat> this is almost like pizza. There we go. It's almost like a pizza bread. Look at that fluff. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love this tzatziki. Ooh, it changes the jabardero. <laughs> now look at that bite. Oh, yeah. We're so excited we forgot to say prayer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, my goodness. Um, this is the first meal of the day. Forgot our prayers. Mm hmm Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless this food and those going without. Amen. So this is our other chicken. I believe this is just like the regular chicken boti. I believe it is.
try this place if you are local you gotta come try this he won't be disappointed mm -hmm. mm. you guys <clears throat> this whole family feast minus the appetizers so just the salad the rice and the kebabs was 40 uh 40 it starts at 40 dollars and up to 44 dollars so because we got the half and half it is uh, an extra two dollars or if you just wanted this rice with all the raisins and stuff on top, it's $44. But ours was uh, $42. You get all of the four different kebabs, wait, beef, lamb, and the two chicken. But it's a lot. The salad, the rice, uh, for 42 bucks. And then you have to order the non separate. But that's okay, super inexpensive. The non is... $4, I think. Yeah. So the regular plain naan is $2. And the tandoori garlic naan is $4. And then the samosas. The veggie samosas are $1.50 each. The uh, hummus is $6. And that comes with plain naan as well. But, uh, I mean, still. Super affordable. And it feeds... This feeds probably a family of four, I would say four or five, depending on how hungry you are. Mm. Wow. I've never been a big fan of lamb. This is good lamb. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Super friendly here too. Check, they check on us constantly, making sure we feel at home. I love places like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing by myself. <laughs> mm. I'm just happy. This garlic naan is so beautiful. Let's do this. Shit. It's super spicy. Y'all didn't hear that? My appetite said. 
This is the type of place you want to lick your plate with your tongue. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I agree. Everything's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Everything is packed with flavor, even the rice. Even the rice. <laughs> I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Mm. I'm stuffed, y'all, and we still got plenty of meat left. Some of the rice, salad. This sums up the video. And let me just tell you, this place is a 10 out of 10. And I'm not just saying that to say it. Literally a 10 out of 10. There was absolutely nothing that I did not like. Everything was super fresh, made to order, packed with flavor. Oh, I mean, it, it is just out of this world. I am a new fan of Afghan food, so you guys are gonna see me here very often. Just saying, shout out to everyone that recommended me to try this, uh, this cuisine. I fell in love with it, so thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, thank you so much to my BJ crew for your love and support. If you're new here and you're watching, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.